my tracks in my head are like 3D structures that I'm sort of walking around in. And I fucked around with Japanese subtitles. Certain tracks have just got these crazy neon pinks in them in my head and um, other ones have got kind of deep reds and blacks and stuff. So this is the closest I've come to actually being able to see that. Because the crystal footage and mixing liquid footage are at a microscopic scale, the person viewing the footage doesn't have any concept around what it is or where it came from. And I think that's one of the powers of using this type of abstract footage. It takes the person away from reality. We had decided amongst ourselves that yes, we, we could sort of look at this generative software approach, you know, processing CG driven work, which was my initial thought when I sort of was given the brief of, of a dance album. But then once I'd spoken to John and once I sort of learned more about the processes that he was going through to create the sounds, we, we knew it had to be something tangible, something real. And that was important to me because the album was made without any virtual instruments. It was all real synths and real acoustic instruments and then computers are used just to treat these things and put them in some sort of order. A few ideas were pitched, but it was this one image that I sent that John really sort of got excited about and immediately started asking, well, what is that? Like, what's going on in this? I love the fact that these images are clearly not computer generated. You can't tell what they are. They just look real. Clearly not. So what? we began working with Lyndon, who's a biochemist based down in Philadelphia to create these images inspired by the interactions between different elements and chemicals and sort of photograph those. Microscopy is the use of a, a microscope with high power lenses which allows you to look at a very small object, typically sub millimeter scale. I'd always wanted to have access to a microscope because of the creative potential. I'm fascinated with microscopic organisms and the world around me in terms of you know, the image scales. The images themselves were of food dyes uh, crystallizing over a period of time under a microscope. Some of them just a few minutes, some of them a few hours, some of them have been left for a few days. They'd been put through a, a spectral microscope to really bring the colors out. And those were the images that we ended up using. So I, I first worked with Lyndon, it was just over a year ago, on this set actually for uh, a music video for a British composer called uh, Ryan Teague. It took me approximately three months to build the equipment that you see here and it turned out to be one of the most spectacular pieces of work I've worked on for many years actually. It was awesome because it looks so homemade but the images we got we were shooting at just fractions of a, of a millimeter across these sort of hairline crystals. What is this video about? So, so good. What is it about? <laughs> <laughs>